Wilderness for Beginners. My name is Charles, and today we're going to be covering the top 10 tips how to start prepping. This is for all the new beginners out there and everybody that has been kind of thrown into this whole situation that we're in right now. So we're going to get going on this. I'd like to try to keep this video as short as possible. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail. I have posted a lot of videos on my channel about a lot of the products that I'm about ready to cover on my top 10 tips. And I have a bonus one for the end, so stick around. So number one, <clears throat> you want to have a plan of action. Now these are in no particular order, okay? You want to have a plan of action. A plan needs to be a stay in home plan or an evacuation plan. Two different scenarios and two different plans, okay? You want to have an emergency plan of action in all aspects and a long-term plan for worst case scenarios. Number two, you wanna map out your escape route, map out your stores so that you know where your products are that you need last minute to get in and out. So know your grocery stores, your Walmarts, Targets, Costco's, know those stores so you can get in and out, get your products and get out of there. Um, you want to have different maps to different safe points and alternate routes to those safe points. Try to stay off the main highways to save time if traffic is heavy. You also want to make sure that you send your plan, um, your travel route plan to family members and friends so they know the routes that you are taking. Number three, you want to have an emergency backpack, packed and ready to go for everyone in your home, right down to your animals. A grab and go type deal for fast exit to save lives, save time to put you ahead of the crowds and the traffic. Number four, you want to have cash on hand. If a grid or the internet goes down, you still have cash to get your gas or food or more important medical supplies or basic supplies that you need while traveling or staying at your home or possibly even if you're traveling a hotel you know stay in a hotel at, for that night um, number five first aid which includes nece necessary medical equipment especially medications, personal hygiene is vital for all. Soap and wipe, something to clean cuts or wounds. You want to have a very well stocked first aid kit for all types of emergency situations you may run into. And a first aid how-to book. You can find those online on Amazon. They're not that expensive. Number six, you want to have emergency supply of food, non-perishable canned goods, um, macaroni, pasta, MREs, anything you can buy that you can afford. If you're on a budget, you want to just base yourself and build up your supplies as you go along. Have a place to store your emergency supplies. Don't forget food and medical supplies for your pets and try and have special things for your kids. If you can keep your kids somewhat happy in an emergency situation, it will make your life a lot easier. Maybe some games or books. But don't forget about anything that you may need for your baby, being diapers, wipes, um, all that type of stuff, formula. You wanna make sure that that's all included in there also. Number seven, you need ways to communicate and get information. So you would need um, with the outside world. You'll, you, everybody has their cell phone, yeah, laptop, iPads, um, radios, shortwave radios, walkie-talkie radios for communication. Say you're traveling in several different cars. This way you can communicate with, through the radio instead of using your cell phone and using your battery. Um, or if it's just you know around the neighborhood or if you're on a homestead or something like that you can communicate uh, from the homestead you know out into the woods or wherever the fields number eight power 
this is a this is a really big one. Um, you need batteries. You need all sizes of batteries for whatever type of equipment that you have, uh, being flashlights, radios, uh, anything that takes a battery. Take a stock of what it is and stock up on those batteries. Don't buy batteries you don't need. Don't waste the money. Um, you want to get rechargeable batteries if possible. Uh, gas generators, battery banks of all sizes. You need solar power panels to charge, say, your, your phone, laptops, battery banks. You also need extra gas cans for your gas generator, um, extra spark plugs, extra oil for your gas generator. You want to make sure that you have um, long enough power cords to reach from where your generator is going to be to the products that you are going to need to run because uh, you don't want to put the generator too close to your house. The further away from your house, the better. Carbon monoxide poisoning is a real thing. Number nine, you need ways to cook your food or sterilize your water. A gas grill or a charcoal grill may be a propane gas stove that's portable. Wood for a fire and a way to make a fire. Always keep extra charcoal on hand extra propane tanks for your gas grills or your griddles and extra propane for your gas portable stoves. Those are those little one pounders you buy in Walmart. You want to keep extra matches and lighters on hand and a fire extinguisher might be a good idea also. Save your newspapers to help build fires to get your charcoal going and you can also use tea lights if you have a certain type of stove you can use tea lights to help warm up your food. Number 10, basic supplies you use in your day-to-day -day life. This would be your ibuprofen, Tylenol, toilet paper, paper towels, soap, toothpaste, cleaning supplies, laundry soap, bleach has a lot of uses. There's a lot of uses for bleach. Shampoo, towels, brooms, sponges, plastic forks and spoons, paper plates and cups, you get the point where I'm going with this. Okay, have extra, store it in a tote or a bin and mark it emergency supplies only. And for an extra little bonus one here, um, extra supplies that's not listed in what I've just talked about. A good knife, a good ax, a raincoat, extra socks in case your feet get wet. If your feet get wet, you can start having all kinds of problems if you got a way to you put on a dry pair of socks and dry out your socks, that's a bonus. You don't want to have problems with your feet. Um, shovel, tarps, you want different sizes of tarps for different types of things. Um, maybe a tent, uh, you know, if you have a, a big family or something, maybe a tent or something like that, or if, you're, or if it's just a couple of you, or if you're just single, you know, because you, you can score some gear in there if you had to. Uh, rope and cordage. Cooking and eating utensils, water bottles, pots to cook in, a uh, hammer, maybe some nails, and a good pair of gloves. Uh, it's just a few more ideas that I threw in there. Now I did cover um, just about everything in these top 10 hit, uh, tips that I just uh, uh, read off to you here. Um, I've done several different videos. I will be putting some of the videos up over here um, throughout the uh, my uh, video here um, but you can go back and click on my channel and go back and you can watch all the videos that are more detailed and um, get into the different all different types of situations here uh, like, like I said my name is Charles this is survival preparedness for beginners I hope everybody out there stay safe stay strong we'll make it through all this and until next time I'll catch you on the flip side